Welcome to Masters of Self University podcast, your highest source of sacred truths and universal wisdom. Hello, beautiful souls. I'm Rachel Fiore, mystic, spiritual teacher, psychic healer, and founder of Masters of Self University. Join our journey of soul transformation as we deep dive into this latest episode. Hello, mystical beings. Welcome to Masters of Self University podcast. I'm Rachel Fiore, your host for this episode. So what mystical powers do you have access to? I want to talk about this. Um, I know a lot of you are very aware that we have been extraordinarily limited as human beings, that, you know, we've been in this third dimensional uh, paradigm, third dimensional separation consciousness, patriarchal consciousness of a matrix that we've been trapped in for centuries. I know a lot of you know that. The patriarch, separation consciousness, third uh, third dimensional level of consciousness, all of that synonymous. It all means the same thing. Okay. So we've been trapped in a very uh, limited a way for us to function as humans, extraordinarily low level of consciousness that our quote unquote powers, extrasensory perceptions and abilities and what we actually have access to become, to achieve, to do has been cut off from us and hidden from us very intentionally. Okay. So a lot of, you know, have varying degrees of awareness regarding that. All right. And a lot of you also know that the potential that we have is vastly, extraordinarily great. Right. But what does that really mean? And here's where I want to set people straight. And I want to offer you an education, an authentic education. Okay. Now, I want to be clear. For the rest of this episode, I want you to remember something. If I could wave a magic wand and have this planet be any way that I wanted it to be, I would have every single human being fully 100% connected to their divine power, the self-empowerment, the healing abilities, the mystical abilities. Every single person would be an enlightened extraordinarily high level of consciousness, literally an enlightened being of the universal ways of oneness. Everyone would function as oneness consciousness. That's what I would want because that's heaven on earth. That is literally the absolute 100% end of violence, of destruction, of rape, of murdering, of serial killing, of mass shootings, you know, aggression, domination, inequality, that solves everything. Becoming the 20 universal ways of oneness solves all of that, period, end. And we could actually live in harmony and then just come here to learn and grow and expand as humans, divine soul having a human experience. We can have a human experience that wouldn't, that doesn't mean that we we would be completely void of any and all challenges. We are here on this planet to experience challenges in order to grow. It's not the only thing we're here to experience. That's just one piece of the puzzle, but we are here to experience that. We are here to face adversity and become bigger, more expanded, more elevated because of that or despite that adversity. That's one piece of how and why we're here and what we're here to experience and why. Okay. That's just part of the video game that we call, you know, human life. Okay. So that's all part of it. But sex trafficking, all of the violence, all of the horrors that we experience while we're here. None of that needs to be a part of why we're here. None of that needs to be part of the experiences while we are here. All of that barbaric, disgusting domination and enslavement of everything and everyone, that needs to go. Okay. I think a lot of us can can agree it needs to go. So what's that have to do with the kind of mystical powers you have access to? Everything. Because that's been a part of our society and the way our global collective has functioned for so long that here's where I really want to dive into this topic for today. 
And that is because we've been so low, we've been horrifically unconscious. We still today fight over hate and racism and misogyny and sexism and all the things and inequality. What the hell are we fighting over that for? We really haven't woken up more than that yet. I mean, come on. We still have a long way to go. Okay. So when you really understand the reality of how we function, of where we're at, you also need to understand that when it comes to gaining these levels of extrasensory perceptions and healing abilities and psychic abilities, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, having really powerful uh, ability to work with energy, to read subtle energies, to work with subtle energies, to maneuver subtle energies and have them work on your behalf to create something, to transform something in your life, to change your current circumstances. There is so many layers to that stuff. It isn't about just taking some classes and trying to be more psychic. It isn't about just taking 27 different modalities and energy, different types of energy healing. It's just that isn't enough. I mean, it doesn't mean any of those things are wrong or bad. They're great. Have fun. Okay. They're, they're lovely. It's understanding on a deeper level what it really takes to connect to your full capacity very briefly, I'm going to mention our quote unquote junk DNA, which of course we should all know by now, no such thing. There's no junk DNA. There's DNA that has been completely disconnected that we don't have access to. There's a difference. It's not junk. <laughs> Who the hell ever ca called it junk to begin with? Whoever that person is needs to be smacked in the face. Good God. You know how many parts of our brain are not accessed and not used? We know that as well, right? And it doesn't mean we have junk brain, parts of our brain. It's not accessed and we're not using all that we actually, that's there and that we have access to. Now, there's a million reasons for that. And I invite you to absolutely go down the rabbit hole of those things to really get to why. Some of you already have and you know what I'm talking about. Um, great. If not, go down those rabbit holes. I'm not here to offer that part. I'm not here to do, you know, history and bring all their other people and other types of teachers and things on this planet to bring you that type of information to fit those pieces of the puzzle in our, in our puzzle. Okay. I'm not here for that, but I want to mention it because it's really important. So when you understand we're not even accessing all parts of what our capabilities are, all parts of our human brain, for example, we're not accessing energies, subtle energies. We're not accessing dimensions because we don't know how we're not accessing our extrasensory perceptual abilities, you know, we have to grow into that. We have to evolve into that. Also, if we are not evolving and becoming more enlightened along the way, then we turn into the people who are, you know, the elites dominating the country from behind the scenes and the world from behind the scenes, creating all the evil and darkness and corruption on the planet because they have access to a lot of this information. But do you think people like that with billions and billions and trillions of dollars who earn all the money on the entire planet and have access to all the money on the entire planet, do you think they're highly evolved beings? Do you think they're enlightened beings? They wouldn't be making the choices that they make if they were, right? Just because you have a vast amount of spiritual knowledge, for example, doesn't mean you're an enlightened, awakened person. If so, people in power like that behind the scenes that know a lot of how to access mystical powers, psychic powers, and how to use it, how to brainwash people, they're not enlightened beings or they wouldn't be doing anything but using those abilities to heal our planet, heal the collective, wake people up for real so that we can actually live in a oneness consciousness world. Okay. We wouldn't have people like John of God. If you still don't know who he is, it's worth spending 10 minutes looking him up, okay? Because he's in prison now because as this incredible, miraculous healer that he was, he was molesting women and using his healing powers to manipulate and corrupt and molest women. You're not an enlightened being if you're using your healing abilities to rape women. And and more is coming out about what he was a part of with sex trafficking kids and all this other crap. And I don't know how much of that is true. I don't pay attention that much. I don't need to. He's locked away. Thank God. Here's my point. 
the first thing that you need to take into consideration when it comes to people out there in the world who are very accurate and wonderful, and I applaud them for teaching you, you are so much more than you've been led to believe. You are. I'm saying the same thing, aren't I? Yes. Except what I don't hear other people saying out there, no matter how many of them I have listened to, what I don't hear along with that, you can be this, that, and the other. You have abilities. You can increase telepathy. You can blah, blah, blah. Come study here. Come take these classes. You can do all this amazing, wonderful stuff. Okay. What's your goddamn responsibility when you gain those abilities and those powers? That's what I don't hear along with the teachings of you could be more psychic. Come learn how you could be a medium. Come learn how you can be a healer. Come learn how what I don't hear is the extreme emphasis, because if you're truly an awakened, enlightened or very highly conscious being, you don't lack the very first out of 20 ways of oneness. And that is the way of responsibility. What is your responsibility when you have healing powers? Your responsibility is not to rape women with it. I can tell you that right now. That's not what your responsibility is. If you can quote unquote heal, why are you traumatizing, abusing, and violating certain members of our population on this planet? <gasps> you're not an awakened being. If you've been listening to me long enough, you're starting, I really hope it's sinking in at this point in time, what it means to be authentically awakening and raising and elevating your actual level of consciousness versus being spiritual. I'm a healer. So that means I'm woke. Go fucking, I should bleep, 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 bleep. There. I just bleeped out what I was going to say. So other platforms won't have to do it. Okay. We have to be better than that. So, do you have access to your mystical powers? Can you increase all of those things? Psychic abilities, healing abilities, all of it. Yes, 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 yes. And by God, yeah, we would be a very different society if everybody had access to that, except what would our society look like if everybody would just focus on increasing those abilities and they didn't wake the fuck up for real? They weren't becoming the way of responsibility. They weren't becoming the way of harmlessness and gentleness. You're not harmlessness and gentleness when you use your powers to be corrupt, to steal money, to manipulate people, to violate. That, so having those abilities can actually make our society a million times worse and we can go even more into evil and darkness with all of it when you're not an actual awakened being, where is the level of unconditional love? Where is the level of loyalty? Where is the level of selfless service? That doesn't mean you do everything for free. Give it all away for free, by the way. That's ridiculous. It's what the elites want you to fucking believe so that you don't make any goddamn money and you can't make real change on this planet. If you had not figured that one out yet, okay, if so, go back and listen to what I just said again. Where is the way of integrity? In all of this, okay? So when we awaken to our psychic powers, our healing abilities, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, we can cause a lot more harm, a lot more destruction, a lot more darkness and evil on this planet versus it's automatically a positive, beautiful thing. You're bringing more light to the planet because you have these abilities. Are you, you, ugh. Guys, this is what it means when I come at you and punch you in the face and say things like, wake the fuck up for real. I want you to wake up for real. None of this airy fairy because I do in my tribe plan medicine. I'm woke. Get the fuck out with the immaturity and the ignorance already. Okay. So when I smack you in the face with that, I want, Nothing more than as many humans as possible to be authentically awakening and awakened. Our planet could heal in two decades if we just in massive amounts just raised honestly 
actually raised our level of consciousness. But what does that mean? Because here's the thing that comes with that. Your healing abilities, your psychic abilities, all of these incredible gifts, the way that your brain starts functioning, where both right and left can be used together simultaneously, more of your right brain comes online. All of these things happen as a byproduct of you doing the work, coaching, understanding what it means to authentically awaken, actually alchemizing and transforming those really deep-seated dark programs that everyone on this planet has been programmed with. And you guys are still out there fucking whining and crying and trying to fight and resist when things are brought to the forefront about the types of programs that massive amount of people run, that the majority of a gender run, for example. You're too busy fighting. You're brainwashed just like they want you to be. Instead of saying, oh my God, isn't this awful how we've been brainwashed and these are the programs we run and offer society. Holy shit. I don't want to be that kind of a man. I don't want to be that kind of a woman. I would love to be more enlightened than that. Ooh, let me see what kind of darkness and nastiness I have inside. You're telling me you have the steps to alchemize that, to teach me how to connect to my divine power and alchemize each and every one of those programs. And then simply as a byproduct and a result of that, I start having natural, beautiful, mystical, magical experiences. I start having all these extra sensory, perceptual, psychic abilities and experiences. So I can tell you my clients share that stuff with me all the time. You won't believe the mystical experience I had since I, since I saw you last. Oh my God, I can't wait to tell you. Happens all the time. And they're not trying to be healers and psychic and... They're just healing themselves. Guess what? The way of responsibility. Oh, they are becoming the ways of oneness, the way of compassion. They are becoming the universal ways of oneness. And as a result, these incredible mystical experiences they are having, and they are accessing their energetic powers to elevate. They are learning organically how to work with the vibrational frequencies of the universal ways of oneness as those ways integrate more deeply and become them and they become the ways of oneness, then all, all of these magical, mystical powers start to come online. And it is incredible because here's the truth. Number one, everybody's abilities are not exactly the same. None of this is cookie cutter. Abilities and gifts and mystical abilities, all they are not identical to another person's, okay? We all come here with the potential and the capacity to reach really great things if we want to. But just, I reach certain potentials and certain capacities doesn't mean you're going to reach that same thing. Doesn't mean I'm going to reach the same ways that you do. Do you understand? That this is unique to me, what I'm here to achieve and become and offer the world. And it's unique to you what you're here to achieve and become and, and offer the world. So someone might be um, way, I'm not here to, even though I've done mediumship readings, I did them for years. Okay. This is just one example. Um, yes, I have that ability. Uh, I do not go by that. I don't advertise that. I don't schedule sessions anymore with people to be a medium. I am here to do very different things than that. And that does not mean that sometimes when I'm working with somebody in a client session, for example, or in a psychic healing session, that doesn't mean that sometimes a relative or a deceased loved one shows up and asks for me to give a message. And when that happens, uh, of course I do. That's just natural. Some of my abilities is, is also includes mediumship. Okay. Do I hone that skill? Do I work on that? Do I, am I here to do just that? No, that's not the one main thing that I am here to do. It's just like a complimentary psychic ability that I also have. And it comes in for people, my clients and stuff who really need it. I don't try. It just happens. Okay. That's just one example. I'm sharing that for a reason. Other people on this planet, that's the main thing they're here to do. They are extraordinarily gifted. And if anybody is like, oh my God, you do mediumship. Can I get a reading with you? No, go to somebody who's 10 times better than me regarding that. I'm here to do other things. And I would absolutely refer to someone else who solely focuses on that. That's the main thing that they do. They're going to hone those skills far more than I do because I don't hone those skills. Does that make sense?
That's just one simple example. So everybody is here. So, you know, my mediumship skills on a scale of one to 10, you know, are a five and someone else don't come to a five, go to a 10, go to an eight, nine or 10 people that have the ability at an eight, nine or 10. Like that's who you want to go to. You're going to get a lot more from them, you know, likely. Right. And I, I did readings for years and, you know, it's awesome, but I'm just using it as a simple little example. Um, your abilities and your gifts will open up over time. Okay. So here's where we do things backwards. We learn that we start, we have these abilities, we have capacity. And it's like, okay, let me take some classes. Let me try to learn how to do this. And I'm sorry, that is not how I teach anything because it is dangerous. If you are unconscious, if you have programs of inequality running, if you have programs of destruction or violence or aggression, you're still unhealed. You're inner child is still activated and coming out a lot, meaning you're immature the way that you're, you're a man baby or you're a woman baby, you know, your narcissistic tendencies are not healed yet, for example, then what are you going to do when you start gaining energetic power? Oh, wait, isn't that what already happened to the world? That's what the elites have done. Oh, interesting. It is your ego that wants to be special. So when that's what you're striving for versus allowing your soul to take the lead, your soul already knows you're an infinite magical being. Your soul already knows your divinity. It's just part of what you are, the deeper level of what you are. So when your soul takes the lead, then your number one priority is how can I become the most elevated, enlightened, magnificent human being on this planet? And whatever gifts and mystical and magical powers that expand and elevate and activate and come online while I become the best version of myself that I can possibly achieve, now you're somebody who's ready to work with the universal ways of oneness. Now you're somebody who's ready to become the universal ways of oneness. Okay. I can tell you that the level of healing and the mystical, magical abilities working with the universal ways of oneness would be hard to even comprehend for a lot of people listening to this. Too hard to comprehend. It would sound like, you know, a fantasy movie <laughs> that Netflix put out or something. It's incredible. It is beyond what a lot of people could even fathom. And I mean that very seriously. And I hope to God so many of you will really start to do the real work that we offer, especially the, the coaching and things that we offer and the classes we offer at Masters of Self University. Because when you are that responsible and you're willing to learn how to go into your darkness, your pain, your unhealed traumas, your unhealed inner child, for example, when you learn that part and you alchemize and you build this powerful, divinely powerful foundation of light, of unconditional love, of the ways of oneness, then what's really exciting is I will then get to teach people how to energetically work with the ways of oneness in ways that can heal and elevate and transform things on a whole nother level. But I can't teach that out there yet. I don't offer those classes yet. The reason why I don't is because you need to have a foundation of integrity. Think about what the universal ways of oneness are. Okay. And if you haven't yet grabbed your copy and read the book so that you can learn about the ways of oneness, go on Amazon and grab your copy, The 20 Universal Ways of Oneness. Okay. It's called Mason's Way, The 20 Universal Ways of Oneness Taught by the Spirit of an Enlightened Dog. Grab your copy, start reading right now. Read about every way of oneness. That's at least a place for you to start. Okay. You can also join our free Discord channel and go in there. Just become a part of our community in some way. Okay. I mean, be a part of any community you want to be a part of, as long as they are not communities that are your tribes that are just telling you whatever the fuck you want to hear. That's your ego. That if there are people and communities you're a part of and all they're doing is stroking your ego and telling you you're perfect as you are. No, you're not. Look at our world. You're not. 
So the reality of this is we have to become the way of responsibility. We have to become more elevated in our level of consciousness and our ability to wake up for real what that actually means. That is a process to awaken for real. It isn't something you did in a weekend. It isn't something because you meditate or do goddamn breath work, you're suddenly an enlightened being and you're completely healed and whole. That is ridiculous. It is pure ignorance. We have to wake up for real and learn how to use tools appropriately that can be beautiful gifts along the way of actual awakening. But if you're using those tools because you think that's what's going to just heal you permanently, you are functioning as a brainwashed idiot. You are literally one of the brainwashed ones who is a puppet. I am not saying that to judge you. I am not saying that to put you down or criticize you. I am not. I never am. I don't come from that energy. The way of truth is the way of truth. Just because you don't like it and it might be hard to hear doesn't mean it isn't the truth. It's only difficult to hear if you're in your fucking ego. Because this is liberation for your soul. I want you to, de I desperately want you to wake up for real. I want you to access your mystical powers that you have. I want you to become more psychic. I want you to be able to see the truth for real. But if you can't even handle this, listening to this right now, you are far from it. No matter what you like to think about yourself. I would love to wave a magic wand and create a team of mystical warriors that within two generations, three decades, three decades, no, not generations, decades, two to three decades, we could make so much massive, incredible shifts on this planet that we can create majority of the planet filled with nothing but divine light. We have that power. And yet, if you're using your psychic abilities and going to your psychic classes and using your healing abilities and going to your healing classes, and you're not simultaneously getting the education humans desperately need right now to raise our level of consciousness, to get out of duality, separation consciousness, the patriarch, all of that needs to go. And if you're still confused, the patriarch, is a construct. It is a construct of inequality, hierarchy, domination, competition, superiority, inferiority, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. None of that is divine. So that's got to go. And we need to transform our world culture, our world society, the collective, and every damn government that exists into a world of oneness consciousness. And when you can become those universal ways of oneness and you can e increase and become closer and closer, increase your capacity to hold the light of oneness consciousness within yourself, your mystical powers will start to skyrocket. Okay? But this is no different. This is how irresponsible and ignorant and immature we are. We've been brainwashed to be. And this is how they keep you trapped at lower levels and then you think you're so fucking elevated. Okay. We have to wake up from that, by the way. We have to wake up from that, which is why I'm trying to punch you in the face with it so that you'll wake up for real. Because I really want you to wake up for real. This planet needs you. You are a precious, beautiful gem, and this planet needs you to shine your light. Okay. So when you realize how much you need, what it really means to wake up for real, and you start to go on that path, the powers of light that you have, it's increasing a capacity to hold more light. Your physical body has to transform along with your spiritual body, your mental body, your emotional body. Your physical body also transforms because your, your cellular structure, your DNA, by the way, all that junk DNA that's not junk, that starts to connect and come online when you do this work, working with the universal ways of oneness. Okay? So when you really do the work, there is a process of transformation. There is a process of elevation. That needs to happen. And you'll do it from now until the rest of your life. It doesn't mean that it takes that long to get anywhere or make any decent amount of progress. But I really want you to understand this isn't about just becoming more psychic or becoming more this or becoming more that. 
This is about awakening so we no longer cause the darkness. We no longer create pockets where darkness and evil are hidden and can continue to control the world. And we can't really do much about it because awakened beings are not just aware of this stuff. They are aware of how their shadow self, their programs, their unhealed wounds that they're trying to spiritually bypass and ignore and pretend like they don't have them. Those anchor in and hold the darkness here. Guys, when you understand oneness consciousness, you understand how energy actually works. So those of you who refuse to heal or refuse to look at your darkness and won't go into your pain, that kind of thing, whatever wounds, whatever programs, whatever insecurities you have, whatever emotional fragility you have, whatever um, fears of abandonment and rejection. Oh my God, I'm so afraid to be rejected. So then I have programs of domination, of violence, of violating, whatever. When you're doing that, you're anchoring all those energies into the matrix that is that is made up of those energies. You are anchoring that in and on our planet. You are an anchor for the matrix. You're the anchor along with millions and billions of other people. You anchor that in on our planet. But guess what? You cannot anchor that in on our planet. When you awaken for real and say, oh my God, the prejudices that I have, the biases that I have, whoa, that misogyny runs so fucking deep and I'm willing to heal every fucking crumb of it once and for all. I'm willing to elevate and alchemize all of that. Then guess what you're creating? You're creating a matrix of oneness consciousness, of the universal ways of oneness, of light, of divinity. There's no such thing as functioning on earth because we're all energy without an energetic matrix. There's many matrices. I've taught on this before. You living in your household, whoever lives in your household with you, you all together collectively, animals and all, children, adults and all, roommates, it doesn't matter what family unit you have, a roommate unit you have that you live with, you all create a matrix that is a matrix that functions in your home. So if you're depressed, if you have anxiety, if you have fear, if you have anger, if your abuse is, is prevalent in your house, whether you're an abuser or the abused victim or victimizer, all of those make up a matrix in your home. Okay. There's another matrix that makes up your neighborhood, your community. And guess what? Everybody's energies in their homes go up and they make the next layer of a matrix. So now we're talking about two matrices. And that makes up the community, the neighborhood matrix, for example. And then that connects to the, the state, the city, all the way up until we have a global matrix. Do you understand? When we say break free from the matrix, there's no such thing. And it's also complete separation consciousness, which shows that you're brainwashed. You're not educated enough to understand. Never a judgment or criticism. That's the truth. This is what helps you to wake up, see the truth. There's no such thing as not having matrices. There's many, many, many uh, matrix that you always energetically are connected. If you have a dog That dog in your house is making up the matrix with you in your house matrix. If you abuse that dog, if you ignore that dog, if you dismiss and neglect that dog, then feelings of loneliness, of isolation, of depression are going to be making up the matrix in your household because of how shitty you treat your animal. Because you don't yet know the way of equality. You haven't become the way of equality yet, which means you look at your dog as just a fucking dog that's inferior to you. And you're not giving your dog the quality of life that he or she deserves to have with the mental stimulation, the emotional stimulation, the physical stimulation, the spiritual stimulation. That canine in your home has all four bodies just like you do. If you're not yet the way of responsibility or compassion or integrity or harmlessness and gentleness or honoring or equality, you haven't become those ways, then what's happening in the matrix, energetic matrix of your home is darkness and low negative vibrational frequencies. And we are all energy. This happens automatically. And we're concerned with just wanting to be more psychic. It's ridiculous. 
I want to have mystical experiences. You are. Every single day you are. You're just not aware of them. And you're not aware that a mystical experience doesn't mean it's light only. Mystical, that is, I have the ability to see the energies and the matrices that are created everywhere, for example. I can see all the different networks, energetic networks that are created in family units and how they connect when people are around each other. When what, uh, what happens when you're like at a club in a place where you're partying? Oh my God, Blech, gross. Blech, if you only knew, Jesus, if you only knew, you wouldn't fucking step foot in one. I promise you, you wouldn't. Um, I can see how all of those energies, when you're near other humans, in a physical capacity, or you're connecting online, for example, you're in a meeting, in a Zoom meeting or whatever, I can see vroom, automatically, because this is oneness consciousness, automatically all those energies and all those matrices, even if it's just temporarily, boom, they connect with one another. So how much wounding, how many negative programs, how much are you contributing to a negative, dark, evil matrix when you're connecting with other people? How much are you contributing to alchemizing, healing, elevation, high level of consciousness, the way of wisdom, the way of unconditional love? How much of that? And it isn't about, oh, no, I only offer unconditional love. No, you fucking don't. If you still have traumas unhealed, if you still run programs of inequality that you don't even know because they're in your blind spot. You are offering 100% of the time energetically what you are, whether you realize and understand what that means or not, or whether you realize that in the moment or not makes zero difference. So here is my invitation. Here is my invitation. Start learning about the 20 universal ways of oneness if you haven't already. Join our community. It doesn't have to be just our community but I want you to evaluate a community that you may be a part of. And I want you to truly evaluate it, not with judgment. Don't you dare put that into the planet any more than it already is here. It's never about judging. It's never about superiority and inferiority and all that garbage. Alchemize that. It is about seeing with divine sight, the way of truth and all the ways of oneness. If you're, communities are bypassing and just telling you what you want to hear and stroking your ego. That is not the community. That's not an awakened community. Okay. So my invitation is dive into the ways of oneness, grab the book, grab the digital course online. You can start their introduction to the universal ways of oneness at masters of self university. See where you need to become. What way of oneness am I lacking and what programs am I running that go against, so to speak, becoming the ways of oneness. Am I showing up as an immature child? Am I showing up in powerlessness programs? How am I really showing up energetically, emotionally, mentally? What are my mental programs? Am I judging? Am I criticizing? Do I feel weak and small? Am I afraid to set boundaries, for example? I'm going to give you this, this quick example. I just had a woman say to me the other day, you know, she was telling me something, how a woman she was working for, just not the nicest woman on the planet, um, really taking advantage of her customers and clients, for example, um, charging prices that for what she's doing, outrageous. And and this woman who I'm an acquaintance with, I just, but I don't know how to say, no, I can see how corrupt she is. And she's just using people and blah, blah, blah. And I just, I don't know. You know what I've learned about myself? I've really learned about myself that I'm just so kind. I'm too kind. I just, I know there's boundaries I should be setting. I don't want to say anything because I'm just too nice. And I looked and I said, I don't know if you remember who you're talking to right now. But if you think other people believe that load of fucking bull crap that you just spewed out of your mouth and you can trick them, that's one thing. But you can't spew that crap out of your mouth and think that I believe one minute. That's a load of bullshit. And she just gave me this look because she knows me well enough. She knows there's no judgment. She just smiled and looked down. And I said, you know damn well you're not too kind. I go, that's a mask you're wearing to try to make yourself feel better about the fact that you are too powerless to stand up for yourself or for clients to this woman. You're too powerless to use your voice. You don't love yourself enough. You don't believe your self-worth is enough 
to be able to potentially cut the ties if, with this woman if she doesn't like what you say. You're coming from powerlessness. That's not being nice. Who are you being too kind to? Not yourself. And you're enabling her dysfunctional programs. That's not nice. That's dysfunction. Right? And she just laughed and shook her head. And she's like, no, no one can get anything by you. And she laughed. She goes, I know. I know. You're right. And I need to stop saying that out loud. I say it to, to convince other people that I'm nice. She's like, I know. And she thanked me. She thanked me, you know, and she knows me well enough. I am never, I would never say that when she doesn't understand. Like, there's no judgment that comes from that. I'm not putting her down. I am the way of truth. And I will not entangle energetically at your low level of consciousness with your programming. I call the program out in truth. She laughed and was like, oh my God. No, she's like, I know. And I'm going to start calling myself out now because I need to stop running that program. Just a simple example. So as I wrap things up here with this particular episode, I'm inviting you, become the universal ways of oneness. Start somewhere, anywhere. Read the book. Take the introduction to the ways of oneness online class at Masters of Self University. Okay. Also, if you are trying to become a medium, an energy healer, uh, this modality, that modality, more psychic here, more psychic there. Guys, listen, I, there isn't anything quote unquote wrong with that. My plea to you is simultaneously dive in and do the real work on yourself. You always give to the world what you actually are at an energetic level, whether it's in your blind spot and you're aware of it or not. We have to be better. And just because you think, no, I am better. I'm amazing because I'm a healer and I do energy healing and, you know, Reiki or whatever it is, you're still infusing your energies, your wounds, your unhealed stuff into that person. You're not just infusing whatever energy healing modality you're using. That's what I want to hit home. So heal your shit. And then when you become highly conscious Oh my God, tap into the mystical powers that you have at that point. I'm telling you, three decades, this planet will be completely unrecognizable because of the massive amounts of light that we together in oneness consciousness can transform each other and this planet into. That's my invitation to you. Do whatever it takes. Stop at nothing. We need you. This planet needs you to become that level of light. So please become that level of light. Thank you for listening. I'll see you in the next episode.